Hey everybody, thank you for joining us. My name is David Walker. I'm the director of the Shasta Cascade Small Business Development Center. The uh, SBDCs are located all across the nation and we provide no cost confidential advisory services to small businesses. And we also put on workshops like this. Uh, our primary funding source is the Small Business Administration. So what that means is our primary funding source is actually you guys. Uh, Thank you for paying your taxes uh, because that's what's paying for our uh, ability to put on these webinars. Uh, just a couple of housekeeping things. If you have any questions, please put them in the chat. Uh, Lonnie Lott, who's our presenter today, is uh, going to go through a PowerPoint uh, presentation and then she's uh, going to go through an actual uh, LinkedIn, uh, live LinkedIn thing, she'll tell you. Uh, <laughs> my LinkedIn uh, yeah. and uh, and go through how it works so if you'd put those questions in the chat and then we'll uh, go through them uh, after she's done with that okay so with that I think I'll turn it over to you Lonnie thank you David and welcome everyone this is going to be a power hour of digital marketing focusing on LinkedIn um, 101 so if you're a seasoned LinkedIn person. Great. Maybe there'll be a few points that uh, might come to light, but this is really about kind of learning the basics of the profile, some of the tips about enhancing that profile, and then looking at a business LinkedIn and, uh, and understanding how the two work together with the feed. Um, I am going to move my screen forward. So um, the agenda is going to be pretty robust. Introductions, you get to hear me, <laughs> my introduction. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the benefits of LinkedIn, some tips for optimizing your profile, utilizing the feed and groups to build your network, and then I'm going to go live in my Facebook excuse me, my LinkedIn account, you're going to see the back end of my LinkedIn account as you would see yours and walk you through where some of these features are, um, showing you how a couple of posts and then how to build your network. So I am president of LL Consulting, women-owned business, 20 plus years of working in economic development, downtown revitalization, and as a small business development center business advisor. Uh, for the last eight years, I have had the pleasure to work with the Shasta Cascade Small Business Development Center, and I cover most facets of business advising, but really have been in the last four or five months, uh, probably the last couple of years, but really focusing a lot on the marketing, social media, branding, and promotional strategies, especially around helping businesses recover and become resilient as we move out, move through the uh, pandemic. I'm going to go ahead and stop my camera because I have found that when I am teaching, I don't want to really see myself and you really don't want to see me looking all around. So I'm just going to have my PowerPoint up. Um, so what are the benefits of LinkedIn? There's numerous benefits. Uh, this social media platform is primarily built for business to business networking, as well as being a uh, platform for jobs, job searching, job hiring, but it is not primarily just for that. It is a powerful professional site that gives you as an individual the ability to really promote your skills, your expertise out into the marketplace, whether you're a, a business owner yourself or you're a CEO of a corporation or you are an employee of a business. It gives you that ability to really kind of showcase your skills and promote opportunities. So it is the largest business oriented networking website and it is geared specifically towards professionals. It has over 500 members in over 200 countries. So what are some of the benefits? It gives you the ability to tap into the LinkedIn robust job board. Um, the link, free LinkedIn, which most of us have, 
it, um, you do not need to pay for LinkedIn to have a professional profile, a business page, and be able to navigate most of the features. Where the premium cost, or that's what they call it, comes in is if you wanted to find out deeper about your job searches, who's searching you, who's uploaded your resume, more of that detail. So today we're going to be talking a lot about all of the free features that are available on LinkedIn for your business. Um, you can build your professional brand online, um, how you stand out from others in your industry, what makes you marketable, why should someone pay you six figures, <laughs> wouldn't that be nice? Um, LinkedIn is the simplest way to put your name on the professional map. So that's kind of how I look at using it. And it is um, very powerful. It really helps you bring forward all of your professional training that you've had over the years uh, in terms of your skill set, technology, um, communication, and what industries you've been working in. A Google ranking. Um, if you've never Googled yourself, you should try it sometime. Don't be afraid of it. You will come up on the Google search. But what pops up on the first page of the results? And ranking on Google's first page can be difficult. But LinkedIn is a well-known and powerful network, and Google gets into it. Um, because of that, it's typically easier to get your LinkedIn page to rank on Google versus maybe your um, website, especially if you did it yourself, and or your online portfolio. I know for myself, um, I uh, have my own website for my business, L-L Consulting, and I have search words built into it but again google how many people are going to that whether i'm pushing it out through uh, my social media content have it in my signature block on my emails um, how many people go there um, i don't know that you know my ranking isn't as high but for linkedin i came like up onto a third third number in the google when i googled myself so that's something to think about it assists you with maintaining your contacts um, rather than uh, taking all those business cards that we used to exchange when we could network in person now we're virtually probably seeing some of the contact information you can uh, connect if you connect with someone virtually or in person um, and you can immediately go and send them a request to connect because you can ask them in your networking conversation. Are you on LinkedIn? Great. I'm going to send you a invitation to connect. And then you have them um, kind of inventoried into your uh, LinkedIn account under contacts. And that way when they're posting things or they have uh, milestones they reach, they'll pop up into your feed. So it's kind of a way to keep contact. And I have found it with a number of years in the industry, probably 30 years of working in economic development, that a lot of my colleagues move around. Um, and so it's a great way to kind of go in and see where they're working now or what company or what city they may be at. And then I can reach out to them. Hey, congratulations. I'm so excited for you. Just want you to know I'm still out here in the field. I would love to connect with you when the timing is right. So you can send them that kind of message and stay connected with them. And then, of course, um, social proof of your skills and talents. What that means, it gives you the ability to showcase your profile, expertise, recommendations, which is like reviews, and connections. Not only is your profile the first professional impression of you, but it also demonstrates a credibility in your industry and highlights your achievements. This is very powerful in making connections. I work with a lot of municipalities, cities, counties, state agencies, I'm on contract. And often I will find that some of my most current searches are from those in that industry. They're checking me out. They wanna see what my skills are. They're looking at my resume. So it's been a very powerful tool for me to have in addition to my website, in addition to my Facebook business page, in addition to all of those other digital tools that we have access to. And then finally, network, network, network. And I'm seeing much more networking on LinkedIn now that we can't physically go and attend a, an association or a, a 
organizational in-person meeting. Uh, groups are one of the most powerful on LinkedIn to be able to network with like colleagues in your industry or uh, types of organizations that may be providing services in your industry. And there's the ability to network virtually there in a group or network through your feed by posting comments and sharing things with your contacts. Okay, so optimizing your profile, and this is what I'm gonna go through live um, in a minute. So this is my back end of my, uh, uh, obviously my LinkedIn, there's my shiny little face. It is a current photo. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about your personal profile and you really, really wanna pay attention to this. Think about it as a Per, uh, more than just your resume. It is your persona. It is your professional history online. Um, and we want to think about uh, things like highlighting your experience, asking for recommendations, uh, looking at what interest in groups you want to be involved in. And I'm going to come back to all of these areas, but I wanted to have the PowerPoint at least uh, documenting when you get this recording so you can then go back in and, and look at some of these areas. In terms of building and engaging your network through your business page, um, you or business or professional, depending on which one you're going to be using, I personally use my professional profile more than I use my business page. It is hard, folks. I, at least for me, I don't know, maybe about you, um, I'm a very small business and it's hard for me to maintain all of these different areas that I am trying to keep current, push out content, interact with. So I have found for me as a consultant, my professional profile on LinkedIn is where I really kind of shine. Um, yes, my business is there. Yes, it leads them back to my website. But for my personal profile, because people hire me as a consultant for my skill set and experience in my industry, more than about my firm. Um, so that's where I kind of focus. But it leveraging the feed, uh, LinkedIn gives you the ability to do video, photos, uh, write an article, and actually even update, upload a PDF. It is one of the few social media platforms that I have found that it's easy to upload a PDF. Um, your business profile. You um, follow on a business profile where you connect on a personal profile. So your business profile is following where your personal profile is connecting just kind of like a Facebook business page where you like friends but follow um, used to be fans on a business page now you follow um, so it's kind of similar it gives that that uh, difference so you can kind of track which <laughs> am I on my business page or am I on my professional profile um, and then it obviously business gives you the ability to really build out your business profile. And as with other social media uh, business platforms, you can actually advertise, uh, promote. And then LinkedIn groups are very powerful. You can belong to a LinkedIn group as your business or as a personal profile. So that's a lot to cover in, oh, I just did it in 15 minutes. That's pretty good. <laughs> so I am going to set my little clock here so I don't go over and allow um, us to have some time for questions because I find that that's going to be important. So just give me a minute while I make this transition. I want to stop it. I'm going to try and stop it about 15 minutes early and then we'll go there. Okay, let's see if I got all the, yep, we'll go backwards. We're not gonna do questions yet. I'm gonna get out of my PowerPoint. You guys get to see me navigate everywhere, so that's always fun. So you know it's real time. I'm gonna move this down. Okay, where's my LinkedIn? There we go. So what you're seeing right here is my LinkedIn, back end of my LinkedIn page. I'm gonna move this way over here. 
So, oh, look at that. SBDC Shasta Cascade is the first thing that pops up in the feed. Don't you love that? Uh, let's give that two, two points there. Okay, so first of all, this is what it looks like to the back end. People do not see it this way. This is how you see and navigate and make changes. Just like when you're looking at the back end of your Facebook page or your Twitter account or your Instagram business page, you see it differently than how the, um, your fellow um, colleagues or other businesses or folks will see it. So you have to kind of remember that because it gets a little confusing. So first of all, I have minimized my messaging. Just like other social media platforms, LinkedIn has a direct messaging feature where you can privately direct message your colleagues or connections. And this is very helpful when you're asking, um, you're, you need to have a question to ask, or you just ask them to fill out a recommendation and you want to send them a private message. Just like other platforms it also shows you who's live with these little green dots next to it um, they're actually online right now so those are in your messaging i'm going to just minimize that right now because it it, it uh, makes it uh, much easier okay so what you see on the left hand side down here this is just a little snapshot of my profile tells me who viewed my profile views of my post um, gives a little promotion if i wanted to do that premium free for one month remember premium is more about enhancing your job searches um, and then here is my business account right here but i'm not going to go there yet i want to and then here smack in the middle this is our feed this is your business your uh linkedin feed so as you can see, um, you can go down and you can see all the folks that have uh, been posting in there. So we're gonna talk about the feed in a minute. What I wanna show you up here along the top, I want to go to your profile first and show you some of the areas that you really should be developing. Because what folks see when they link on to you, your profile is they're gonna see your profile like this, a little bit like this. This is again the back end. So the first area we wanna talk about is your headshot. You wanna make sure you have as professionally as possible a headshot, a current picture of yourself, not one of you know graduating in high school in 1973, but more about what you look like now. Maybe, I don't know, if you're like me, you might wanna do one uh, pre COVID 19 without the extra pounds or stress. Um, but, anyways, think about that uh, professional headshot. And most of you, you know, most of our uh, iPhones can take one or your Androids can take one, or if you may have a professional shot, but you want to um, upgrade that and keep it current. Um, I'm just reading some of my, note, my notes. And you want to be creative that it fits with what you do or who you are. But remember that this is the first impression that people will get on your page. No distracting background or bad lighting. Dress the job you want and your face should be the focal point. If you don't have a professional headshot, think about investing in that. Um, so that's the headshot. Then the next area, which most people don't realize is available, is your um, visual uh, media. That is this area right here. Just like Facebook and uh, possibly Instagram, you have the ability to change this. If you do not have a visual media behind your headshot, you're just going to see that crazy blue that um, LinkedIn uses as a default. So you want to kind of think about this. It doesn't need to be changed often. Uh, it is really about um, something thinking about what kind of uh, you want to stand out about yourself or your business. Um, this is like a sunrise of a city. I, I used this image. Uh, it was a uh, uh, free image that has the credits already uh, given permission to use. And I kind of wanted to use this to kind of showcase that 
I work in communities. I do downtown revitalization and economic development. But you can use an infographic that you create. You can use a picture of you working in the field. Um, some people have even used some of their interests like hiking. Um, but you want to make sure, and again, this is the format. So it's a, a literal, you know, horizontal format. And you just go up here to change it. And you can drag it to be in there. Um, you can crop, you can change the photo. By changing the photo, you have the ability to, um, here are some of their actual templates they're providing. You can use some of those if you want to. Um, obviously, these are uh, relative to what we're experiencing right now. Or you can upload your own photo. Uh, so these are, this is an area that I would encourage you to immediately go and think about it and, and, and updating that uh, visual media uh, backdrop. The next area you kind of want to look at is this, what we call eye-catching headliner. So this has um, 120 characters, and that is what you know, kind of describes you, describes what, your, what, what field you're in, um, kind of where your, uh, your uh, skill set is. So for 120 characters, I'm the owner of her, Lonnie Lott is the owner of her own consulting firm with over 28 years of working in downtown development, economic revitalization, and small business advising for the small business development centers. So that is my kind of uh, headline or quick, quick 30 second selling of what I am about, who I am, what I do. So you want to kind of think about that. And then over here is the contact information. So this is where you update all of your contact information. You want to make sure you, your profile, I'm going to show you where to change your URL. You want to have your websites. This is my website, my Facebook account. You have the ability to put one social media account on your LinkedIn uh, contact information. There's my phone number, my address. It even has my birthday. Thank goodness it doesn't ask for the year. And then, of course, my email. And if they link on this, it's going to take them right to that site. So that's important to kind of keep that um, contact information uh, current. Um, over here is a link to my business website and then also my university that I graduated from. So you want to kind of look at this as a quick 30 second, my picture, my background, and then my short description. Up here, on, uh, before we go too deep into other areas, up here is edit public profile and URL. So you want to click on there and you want to go in it's going to have a default if you haven't already changed your URL to include your name. Um, it'll be, you know, numbers or it would be just something unrelated. Uh, so go in there and add, I added my name so that you can customize your URL and then it will be used when you, um, people are searching for you. You can use it in your contact information. You can use that as a link uh, in. Um, on the icon on other LinkedIn, on, excuse me, on other uh, social media platforms you use or on your website or in your signature block, wherever you are putting all of your social media um, icons. So I'm gonna save that. So that's a very important uh, piece to, to kind of update and, and simplify and real easy. So then the next area is you wanna highlight your experience. And uh, just like any of the other social medias, they always give you these little pop-up things. Um, so here is an area that I have updated, the About Me section. Let's see, let me get that down to where we can get into that. Okay, so where I got into that is over here. Let me go back one so I can confuse you all as you watch me navigate through here. Under your custom URL, edit content. This is your public profile. To edit it sections, you're gonna update it here. So you're gonna just edit contents. 
And where it's going to take you is now it's going to take you down deep into all of this area. So here's the about section. This one, I, a, a, a recommendation from a colleague told me, make this more personal. This is not your resume. Don't make it dry and boring. This may be a little bit more about you, why you're in the industry you're in, why you love what you do, how long you've been there. Um, so as you can see, I've typed mine up to be much more personal. I launched my consulting business 20 years ago and I've never looked back. My clients are the best and range from state agencies to cities to towns to Main Street programs and I go on. I specialize in anything and everything downtown and economic revitalization. Um, and then I include some of those areas. So I'm mixing a more personal narrative with some of more of my professional skills. Um, you will probably not find a consultant with as much experience, love and patience with working for people who love their community as much as I do. I love what I do. And I would welcome the opportunity to help your organization or community reach its full potential and thrive. So just think of that area a little bit more personal. Then it gives you your dashboard, which is private to you, so people don't see that. Um, so here is who I'm following. Remember, I follow businesses and I connect with organizations. So if under activity, if I hit see all, that's gonna take me to my feed. Um, so that takes me out of my personal profile and around to back to my feed to see who I have connected with, either through a comment or a share. Um, so that's just a shortcut. See up here it's saying Lonnie's activity. So I'm gonna go back to my profile. I guess I can just go back an arrow probably easier. And then here is the famous resume. <laughs> and, you know, go ahead and, and, and put as much on your resume as you want to. Um, but just remember that LinkedIn is a social media platform. We have short ex um, uh, intention spans, but your resume can sit there and be fully developed so that if you are out promoting and job searching, um, applying for positions. Um, you can always refer back to your LinkedIn resume and it sits there as a, as a placeholder in its inventory so you don't have to search it all over everywhere else and you can download it. Or you can also reflect um, deeper into that resume if folks want to see more of your years of experience like, you know, in my case, do they really care what I did 30 years ago? Do they really care what my first job was at a bank when I was 17? Probably not. So I don't add that on the resume, but you can. You can go as deep or as shallow as you want to in your resume. Of course, my resume also sits on my website. So there's another area that I can have a little bit of a different type of resume. Um, this may be catered more towards just me personally and talking more about that. So you wanna kind of uh, make sure that you have that experience. There's my education. So your resume sits right there. Um, and then you can, of course, edit any part of it that you need to. Here's how it looks if you're going to edit it. Description, that was that current one. So you can edit each area. You can add areas. This is where you add areas. So this is your resume. Then down here is your skills and endorsements. This is an area where you can um, upload uh, specific areas that uh, you are involved in or that you specialize in. Okay, so I have a lot, right? <laughs> in, uh, interest, industry knowledge, then public speaking or interpersonal skills. Other skills are here listed. Um, so you can show all of those or you can show less. Uh, so these are where you can add a new skill. You just type in a word up here and these things will pop up. So you wanna kind of add that thinking about what are the skills and experience and endorsements that I have gained over the years of my professional um, employment or running my business or working for an organization? 
And then these are recommendations. You have to ask for it. Um, and this is an area that I see many people not taking full advantage of. So this, in my opinion, this is huge. Not only are you cross promoting maybe colleagues, but then you're also really adding strength to your credibility. Think of people that you've developed a really good working relationship with in the past. And then when you edit your profile, there's a link to, to click to ask for a recommendation. So who do I wanna ask? So I would type somebody in here. Um, let's see. These are people I'm connected with or I know. So I know Raina. Um, I worked with her. I was positioned at this time as uh, president at LL Consulting. So I'm going to put that. Um, and you can usually add more areas. So you can ask for a recommendation. Um, when you send it, it's going to send it to her. I personally like to use the more direct messaging type of response or using my network up at the top, go to one of my connections. These are all the people that I'm friends with. Oh, there's Keith up there. He's one of our fabulous SBDC um, advisors. So is Joe. So let's say, okay, I'm going to ask Joe. So I'm going to message Joe and I'm going to say, hey, Joe. Hi, Joe. I am updating my LinkedIn recommendations or my page, let's say. And I was hoping that you might be, you might want <laughs> to provide, provide me with a recommendation of our work together, right? So you can send it direct message, goes to him privately, never see it again. Um, so that is one way that you can do your recommendations. Let me get back to my profile. I'm gonna go down here to my recommendations. Um, so when you get a recommendation, you have to accept it. So if somebody doesn't give you a good one, you don't have to accept it. We obviously don't want to put bad ones up there. You might want to direct message them and say, hey, I thought you liked what I did for you. What happened? <laughs> and maybe uh, mend that relationship. Um, and then you can also give recommendations. On uh, this, Nina, she asked me for a recommendation. Um, oh, I have two recommendation requests. So obviously I haven't checked. Um, so here is how it looks when you, receive a when you receive a request for a recommendation. And so I have these two colleagues that I need to um, go in and actually write a recommendation and send it to them. This is best practices in the professional business to business world that you uh, respond to these recommendations. For example, Michael, I work with him in another field that I am, in, I am involved in. He's an entertainer. I've hired him before for an event. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a recommendation around that work. With Leanne, she has hired me as a consultant. She's in Vermont, did work with her five or 10 years ago. This would be a great opportunity to write a recommendation for her with the years I've known her. And then we're developing that relationship. I haven't talked to Leanne in a number of years. So this would be a good uh, icebreaker to, to send that recommendation and say, gosh, it was so good to hear from you. Here's your recommendation. I'm still doing downtown revitalization work. Would love to chat with you offline and catch up, right? So work on those recommendations. Just like reviews for businesses, recommendations on your LinkedIn are, are, are sometimes hard for us to reach out and ask for, but you are not going to get them if you don't ask for them. And then you can also request from your LinkedIn recommendation that you possibly could 
add that to your um, website or use it in a social media content push out. Then here are my interests. Oh, I'm following my own business account. That's a good thing to be doing, right? So here they're broken down. Companies I'm following. These are businesses that have business LinkedIn pages and I'm following them. Groups, this is where you find out which groups you belong to um, and which groups you have asked to um, participate in. This one, um, I have uh, chose not to be in it. That's why this is kind of blocked out. And then schools. Uh, California State University. Now, California State University is very interesting. They post a lot, and a lot of my connections are folks that have graduated from California State University, Sacramento. Um, not anybody I know, but they are very integrated. LinkedIn is really integrated with the universities and kind of showing you those contacts that are also from your alumni. I'm going to check my time, see how I'm doing. Oh, I'm rolling through this. Okay. So that's basically your personal profile page. Um, so you want to kind of remember those key things. You want to keep it active. Uh, you want to um, uh, not change it all every day, but you know, go in there and make sure your profile is all up to date. Probably maybe once a month is enough um, to look at your profile. Um, so now let's navigate across the top up here. So home is my gonna be my home. That's gonna take me back to that pay, place where we started. Um, a snapshot of me over here with that little 120 characters. Um, again, a little snapshot of how I, my profile is performing. My business page and then my recent uh, people I'm following in my groups. Here is your network. These are the folks that you're connected with right here, your connections. Manage my network. So here's my connections. I don't have any teammates. I should maybe add my dog, no. <laughs> contacts, what's in there? Let's see what we go when we go into contacts. Don't have any contacts, people I follow, groups that I belong to pages I'm following, newsletters, and hashtags. So this would be where you would probably, if you were, had a much more robust LinkedIn page um, profile, you would see much more in your, in your network. So these right here are all folks that are suggested to connect with. Um, these are from the Black Voices to Follow and Amplify. These are people you might know in the California State University. So you can go through here and kind of people that are in similar role, roles as you. You might want to go and check their page out, see what they're doing, um, who that, what groups they're following, who they're connected with. And if there's somebody that is in your connection or in your network that you're connected with that's also connected with Carrie, you may want to send an invite or a, uh, a message when you go to connect with her and say, hey, I see we uh, know Dave Walker. We each know Dave Walker. We've done work for him. He's great. What a great uh, organization. Just thought I'd like to connect with you. So there's that little icebreaker again. Remember professional? We're always talking professional. This is a professional site. So because I'm currently sitting in Phoenix, sheltered in place, um, my, uh, they're picking up my location, LinkedIn is, right? So they're showing me greater Phoenix area. People I may know, and I may know some of these folks. Um, I may take time to go and dig into my contacts. Uh, these are nonprofit management industry people I know. And then I'm going to get down in here. These are pages. Remember, follow. We follow pages. We connect with people. Subscribe. These are obviously newsletters that I could subscribe to, to, to tra um, just like we do uh, pages on Facebook, that you could follow these newsletters that would provide you maybe with some uh, industry expertise or insight. Again, these are groups. 
And then now I'm back down to connect. They're suggesting these folks. So if you didn't want to dig through all of that, and I would suggest you do that on a weekly basis. Um, every time you do, you're going to be more engaging. You're going to be building your robust profile as well as you're going to have information that may come with come to you that could be helpful in your industry. Up here, you want to kind of, let's see, where do I want to search? Okay, so I'm going to search LinkedIn. So let's search for Kelly. I think this is where I go to search. I would get confused here. Well, maybe that's not where, let's go here. Oop, sorry guys. Love it when we lose our connection, right? <laughs> I was doing so well. Um, Let's go back to here. I don't know what happened. <laughs> when all else fails, refresh. Okay. Oh, I got a response from Joe. He says, sure. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Uh, let's see. Okay. So this would be where you'd manage your um, invitations for joining. So. I haven't received any. I've sent a few out here. I sent one to Terry. Um, I've sent one to Kathy. So I've sent these to these folks. Um, and when you send an invitation, oh, see right here, this is where she hasn't updated her profile, right? Uh, you will want to write a, uh, you will want to write a message to them. So let me find where my network is. Connections. Oh, that's where we got to go, right? We were there. Okay, here we go. Found it. So let me just go backwards so I know I confused them and I just hate when everybody's moving so fast along the, the real time at the back end of their LinkedIn page. Over here under connections, this is where you're going to send Let's say you had a this you were at a virtual networking or you came across somebody that is a friend of someone and they said, Oh, you should go check them out on LinkedIn. I think they could be really helpful and probably give you some tips on something. So you would go to this connections and then you would want to search in here their name, right? So let's say Kelly. And as I'm typing, the names are popping up, right? Come on, pop up. Um, so she is, I'm already connected with her. So let's see, what was, how did I spell his last name? I practiced this earlier. Well, let's just do Kelly. Um, so I am um, not, I'm already connected with him, so I don't need to ask him to connect. Oh gosh, I'm sorry guys, I'm just losing all of you, aren't I? These are recently, uh, uh, la, 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 la. Well, anyways, somewhere in there you can find who how to connect with people. Obviously, I am losing it right now. So let's switch gears and I'll come back to that because that might be a good, maybe somebody knows how to do that and can type it in the chat box because right now my brain has just left me. Let me see what the chat box is. Oh, okay. So you're getting a text message from L, little L, asking me if I know someone. When I go to L, little L, I cannot find where this text originates. I'll have to ask that um, question in a minute, okay? So the last area I wanted to show you is, of course, over here in your feed. So let's go to home. Up here is where you post. So I am posting as Lonnie Lott, just like if I wanted to post with my business account, I would switch it here. So I am going to post as Lonnie Lott because um, that's who I want my 
uh, post to come from that's going to go in the feed and is going to go out onto LinkedIn and drop into all my connections. So I'm going to start the post. And I already have something that I typed up so you don't have to watch me go crazy and try to type something. So I'm going to just copy and paste this. I wanted to show you this because you, this is, I wanted to show you where to do a PDF. So what do I want to talk about? Main Street programs are providing, you know, critical businesses. Here, um, Main I'm seeing if uh, Main Street America has a LinkedIn page. They don't. Okay. So uh, Main Street America is currently asking Congress to fund Main Street programs across the country with using CARE Act dollars, right? And when you post, you want to make sure you get it all right. Um, here is a PDF to share with your leadership of the value that Main Street provide to the community, region, and nation. Okay, so I typed up my post. Here, down here, it's pretty clear. This is a photo. This is a video. These you can add, share a profile, offer help. You can add any of those. That's what this is. And then here is where you would choose a document to share. I have it sitting on my desktop. It's going to go right there. I'm going to choose it and I'm gonna hit done. Oh, I guess I need to add a title to this, right? And then you hit done, and then you hit post. And there it is, now it's in the feed. And I can share that, I can uh, edit it, I can uh, make, uh, ask for um, go back and, and want to look at you know maybe somebody is going to contact is going to uh, comment on it so what I like to do once a week maybe every two weeks is dig through my feeds and then I see a feed of a business that they're my first connection that means I'm a first level connected with them I will go on and sometimes um, this is about Lonnie Lott <laughs> <laughs> wow, I mean, I could share that. I can share that um, to uh, mention other people if I wanted to. I could comment on it, just like we're looking for shares, comments, and uh, okay, I want to cancel that. Why well, I want to discard that? Okay, uh, and send right. We want that engagement. So I will go through this, and I know Jennifer, she is a first uh, level contact. Don't do work with her, she's a friend. I've done work with Steven, he is posting this. I may go in and make a comment on that. Um, Rena is a, a past coll a colleague of mine. So if you're going through this, here, this Spotify Plus, this is telling you this is promoted. This is a promoted, uh, page or post just like what you see in Facebook or in Instagram so you just dig through here um, and you may see something you want to con comment on then you would just and the, I'm looking at who these guys are I, I don't really you know I don't have much to say to their industry um, oh okay Lonnie Lot has some tips for you <laughs> MailChimp promoted they're asking to sign up, so that's a promoted post. Um, so that's what you kind of do is just dig in there and then say, okay, so Tom Doyle, I know him. I'm gonna comment. Hi, Tom.
looks like development moving forward on Grand Avenue. Okay, I've worked for Tom before. I've done work in Peoria. This makes sense for me to kind of post it. So I'm just going to post it. Um, and then he will see that post and respond. Up here are your messages. That's my message from Joe. This is notifications. This kind of tells me and I can go through these recents and see who's posted. Um, I appeared in two searches this week. I could go and congratulate Kelly for one year at Habitat. So that's kind of again telling you who's doing what and that you may want to go in and further comment or share or use that post. Okay, I know I'm got eight minutes. So I am gonna go ahead and look at what we've got in the chat box. We've got some questions here. I wanna kind of look at it. You know, that uh, first uh, question from Pamela, I'm, I keep getting text messages from L, little L asking me if I know someone. When I go, I cannot find where this text originates to answer the question of whether I know the person. Do you know where this is? Are you getting the texts, Pamela, from um, LinkedIn? If you are, maybe they're uh, messaging you and or you could look in your notifications. Uh, LinkedIn equal, oh, okay. So it would be text messaging would be probably in this, uh, if it's linked to a text message would be this messaging right here. Is that where you're getting? I'm kind of not sure where you're getting those. Are they coming into your iPhone or into your email um, box or are they coming directly from LinkedIn? So. So you probably have it, your LinkedIn uh, settings probably set up to get notifications from um, your, uh, to your iPhone. Okay, Lonnie? Yeah. We have a question from Kathy. She's asking, uh, do you get much spam from providing your email through LinkedIn? I, I, and I can see these, uh, David, the privately one, the private ones. Um, okay, so I'll good. answer those, yeah. Um, Kathy, I, I do not. I have not. Um, I get a lot of spam. I get a lot of stuff because that's kind of what's going on out there in our virtual digital world right now. Every time you uh, give permission to accept cookies, you're going to start getting those emails out. You can always go and unscribe. I have not seen that, but I have not really followed a lot of pages in my LinkedIn. I am getting more of them from probably my robust Facebook page, um, as well as some, um, sometimes Twitter finds me. But no, I am not. Um, I use groups a lot more than I use uh, pages in LinkedIn. Um, I like groups because it's a gated community, it's private, you're more engaging, you can jump in there and see what the dialogue is, um, and it's not then, a, then gonna go to your, um, your spam. Um, so here's the settings. I'm thinking that this may be where you need to go, Pamela, and dig around and see and set those settings and see where the notifications are coming from. So I would recommend you do that and go in there. Um, you can always, like any of the social media platforms, you can always ask them a question. Uh, they won't, uh, they're not going to, you know, finding a phone number is really hard, but you can always go to the help and as pose your question and that usually will sometimes answer the questions you have. Oh, David, okay. Um, any other questions to see? Is there an opinion to, uh, is there an option to preview before posting to proofread what you're going to post before we do it? Um, not with just LinkedIn, um, you're doing it right there. So I did not see a place when I practiced earlier to make sure I was on target with what I was doing and my post was relevant. So it didn't go out into the, into the world um, wrong. It did not give me ability to save a post on my profile. Um, I did not check it on my business page. I would suggest 
always, you know, think it through. If you have to type it in a Word doc and first check it all and then, um, you know, copy and paste and put it into your post, that would be the way that I would recommend. I do believe you can always go back and um, proof it uh, because <laughs> I have found with all the changes continuously with all of the platforms, they're continuously changing how you do things. So it's hard to keep up with it. And that the new change with the Facebook business platform is I cannot stand the publishing uh, tool because they're trying to get everybody to go over onto their uh, business manager uh, platform. And it's really, really difficult to prove things. I found this much easier to do in terms of posting and being able to then prove. So up here, these three little dots, you can save, you can copy, embed, you can delete, you can edit. So you can edit the post if you realize that you've made a mistake or you didn't uh, say it right, just go in there and edit it. Um, often we are so virtually and digitally overwhelmed and working primarily from the screen that we oversee things and we post it and we realize that uh, something's misspelled or even worse, one of your connections gives you a little direct message. Did you know you spelled that word wrong? That's not how you spell that. You know, it, we're humans. Um, and so this is human stuff. Over here, just real quick, this is what my business page looks like um, from the back end. See my, this is me, woohoo, 4th of July last year when we were in person in Grass Valley, where I'm from. Um, there's my logo. Um, I, you can visit my website. Again, has uh, just fewer characters to be able to. I have a whopping three followers, so I haven't really pushed this out. I haven't really shared any updates. So obviously I'm using my personal profile more to uh, communicate and connect with uh, colleagues than I am my business page. But I'm gonna tell you, my, one of my goals is to work on my business page and try to get it a little bit more robust. Um, however, I'm really focusing on my profile, my individual and up and because again, as a consultant, I am the product and that's what people are purchasing. So um, that's where I'm really focusing my energy. With that said, I think we're kind of maybe out of time. Um, I want to honor our hour. We have two minutes left. Dave, you want, David, do you want to do your closing uh, <laughs> uh, spiel? <laughs> sure. Uh, just to remind everybody, our website is sbdcsc.org. Uh, you probably already know that. Uh, it'd be difficult to sign up for this if you didn't, I suppose. Uh, but the... Um, we serve Shasta and Trinity counties in California. If you're not from Shasta or Trinity County, there is an SBDC in your region as if you're in the United States. And you can Google SBDC and your county or your state, and you can find your local SBDC there. We'll be sending a link uh, to a video of this presentation to you as soon as uh, we get it rendered and uh, find a place for it. And you'll also be getting a link to a survey uh, asking for your opinion about, uh, about this webinar and uh, ways we can improve. And, and I really strongly encourage you to respond to that survey. It helps us and it, uh, uh, it's, it's just a good thing. It helps us improve and uh, we really need to get your feedback. So thank you for attending. I appreciate it and thank you, Lonnie. Appreciate Thank you, you uh, taking the time to do it. Yeah, and I know I ran through a lot of it fast, so um, we um, obviously love to work with clients one on one and walk them through all, any of their areas, especially when it comes to social media platforms. So do take advantage of that service and have a great day, everyone. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.